Good morning. Thursday morning. Beautiful day to be alive. For me, all days are beautiful. And it's all a wonderful time to be alive, no matter what you see, feel, or hear. You know, I talk a lot about things, things, this journey of life, the adventure of life. We had this last full moon. It kind of put me in the motion of things, emotional uh, things. Uh, I had a moment where I felt like I was just being washed with emotions. I had a night where I didn't sleep. Then I woke this morning after... <laughs> It just, everything shifted, everything changed. I've mentioned many times that a lot of times we go through these emotional, um, I don't know what the word would be, but it's like you just get consumed with all the emotions that are hitting you, and it's like a, a cleansing. I described it in the last little vlog I did as being stuck along the waterfront and being pummeled by waves and you couldn't move or I couldn't move and I was telling myself that I, I, I was trying to figure out how to get out from being pummeled by the waves and I finally stopped myself in this and realized I had the power to move there was something inside that said I couldn't and I had to just stay there and take it. And then I finally realized that I had the power in me to move. And then things changed. It was all of a sudden like that was the light that went off inside. All that I was going through, and I've gone through these things many times where it was like, uh, again, here we are. And I thought we were past this. These are reminders that there are still a few things left to be healed. And I know many people sit and say, when does it end? Or it's too hard. Well, it's, it's, it's a process. It takes, it takes a lifetime. It took a lifetime, it took your lifetime to get where you are right now. And this is the journey. It's trusting in you. Do you trust you? Do you believe in you? Do you love you? You know, we all have come down this road of life and we all have our own story. We all have had our own missions. We all have had our hardships. We all have had you know, our successes. But all the way along, we've accumulated memories. We've accumulated beliefs. Some of these we have to unlearn. I'm finding for myself that there are a lot of things that I have had to unlearn. And there are a lot of things that I thought I have unlearned, but they keep popping back up. So a sign that things have not been completely let go of or unlearned. I've had the last couple of days where people show up in my life. And they... <sighs> this gets me every time. They, they are just a reminder. They remind me they remind me of how beautiful this life is. I've mentioned again many times about you never know the effects that you have on your walk, the walk of life. And when you take a moment to put a hand out to help another soul, and that could be with just a smile, a kind word, 
it's, it's, it's that simple. You don't know the effects that it could have on somebody else. I've known this for a long time. Now, it's like I am. My goal is to take it to another level. And it's to reach out to many more people and help as many more people than I can even see. And I've, I've been reminded, and it's been, yeah. So there's moments in your life where you'll know, you'll get signs. Synchronicities are just evidence of things that are happening that are true. So when you're starting to run into a lot of synchronicities, know that you're on the right path. And I love you. So just be, oh, walk through this world with your arms wide open and embrace what's coming because it's, no matter what you feel, no matter what you see, if it doesn't seem, if it seems like the world's coming to an end in your life, it isn't. You're close to discovering what truly is to happen in your life. You have to trust you. You are the light. You are the power. You are everything that you need. You have to start believing in you. I have moments where I doubt my own self. I have moments where I question everything that I do. And then I get reminders. And the reminders always come at the perfect time. Just like when troubles hit us. <laughs> it's like this whole last weekend. I sat and just, I was sitting there looking and going, okay, this is, what the heck? Now I can step out of myself and just observe. It doesn't mean I, I still feel I still go through it all, but I sit back and go, okay, now what, where is this coming from? What am I not seeing? It has taken me this whole lifetime to get to that point. Instead of just being consumed and, oh my gosh, this is this and this is happening and, oh, and then you start hyperventilating because it becomes too consuming. but it's all there in you. All that you need to get through is in you. Stop looking at the, the things, the issues, the problems, and start asking yourself, why are, why are all these, why is all this coming at me like this? What is going on here? Start looking at it and know that you have the opportunity, you have the will, and you have the power in you to change the whole narrative. And it's because you're awesome. You're beautiful. And it doesn't matter. See, I believe everything in my life Everything that good has happened has always been in divine timing. It hasn't been my timing. It's been in divine timing, and it's always been the right time. People come into our lives not by chance. Souls come back to us. So, the thing that we need to vibrate is in love. And when you vibrate in love, your energy is love. And you do nothing but try to help 
and work with people, that's all that's going to be around you. Because the negative energy will have no place to go. It will want to attach to you, but it won't stay long. It'll bounce off of you. And things that are supposed to be, I got to stop using that word things, I know. They will just be. There are people out there right now, like myself, that are sitting there by yourself, going to win. It's going to happen. But stop thinking about the win. Start thinking about you. Work on you. Clean the house. You are the house. Present things in ways in you that make it comfortable for someone to be around. Vibrate in love. And once you start making these things happen in your life, everything changes. You change. All of a sudden, people start being coming, becoming attracted to you in ways that you could not have imagined. Soul family shows up. I've mentioned this many times. People show up that just you connect with from a soul level. You may not even know them, but just like you know them. It's funny, I do a, I have a, a talk about twin flames and it seems more and more people are finding themselves in this relationship. And it's a different relationship. It's, it's a different connection. Another topic for another day. If any of this resonates with you, hopefully I'll hear, for, hear from you. You can find me on Facebook, Nicholas Gallardo. Also on Facebook, you can find me the Twin Flame Journey, where I talk. Well, I, I, I'm finding less time to talk about it, but I'm, I have a board there where you can ask questions on Facebook. If you're on the journey. Instagram, I, you can find me on the Power of Love Heels, where I post photos, put my little thoughts with my photos, share some things. Find me on YouTube, Power of Love Heels, where I share my vlogs. I've got quite a few of them now. Like and subscribe if any of this interests you. I'm trying to build a community. Also, you can find me. Uh, on my website, Power of Love Heals. And uh, there you can, if you're interested in having a reading, you can schedule a time on my website. I've got information there about that. Do energy healings. I can do it local, I can do it remote. I'm limited to just FaceTime right now, if you are remote. But I have all the information there for you if you're interested. So be well, be love. Always. Until next time, stay awesome.